Mortal Kombat. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your boy Zay Zay the Prince. Oh my gosh, that that should just let y'all know, y'all. You guys, Mortal Kombat 12 is coming out this year. Like, it's gonna be a shorter video because, you know, it's just. Oh my gosh, you guys, like, I'm literally so, like, I'm so hyped. I'm literally so hyped. If y'all don't know, Mortal Kombat is one of my all-time favorite games. Like, literally top three. It's probably number two. Like, literally number, probably my second all-time favorite game. And it's like, I've been playing, I play Mortal Kombat Deception. Deadly Alliance, Mortal Kombat, uh, uh, DC, Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. I played Mortal Kombat 9, Mortal Kombat X, Mortal Kombat 11, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Like, I've, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, Trilogy, Ultimate. Like, I've played, um, all these Mortal Kombat's, literally all the Mortal Kombat's. I think I'm leaving out one. I, I forgot what it's called. I forgot, just anthologies or something like that. I think it's something like that, but um, I, I played them all, man. And, and the franchise is truly one of the greatest franchises in, of all gaming ever in history. You know, just to think, man, I, they didn't even, Ed Boon and, and every all those developers and creators, then I bet they did not think Mortal Kombat would be where it is today, man. 30 years later. And it's it's truly been an honor to say I, I played that, man. Like, I, I played all the Mortal Kombat's. I, I, I've been a fan. And I've been, I have a, I've had the privilege to play all my life, you know. I've played since I was, bro, like five years old, bro. I, I used to have to sneak and play it at some point because... My my grandma used to take it from me. My auntie used to take it from me and hide it. <laughs> I'm over here five years old watching the freaking people's head get ripped off, guts being splattered, and brains on the floor. Yeah, I, I, yeah. But it never influenced me to do anything crazy like that. You know, it's like cause I, was, I was definitely conscious enough and very aware. You know, at five, <laughs> that you know that's definitely not the right thing to do. You know mommy taught me well <laughs> but um yeah man and it's like of course like you know no five-year-old should be having Mortal Kombat man but that's one of the games that has made like it has made gaming for me so amazing in my childhood and everything like it's made it's just made man, it's just given me so many great memories man that will last a lifetime and I will continue to play Mortal Kombat, man. And Mortal Kombat 12 is just going to be even better. It's going to be the best one yet. Because, they, in my opinion, they upgrade every single time. Like, literally. I feel like every Mortal Kombat gets better and better and better and better. Now, I will say, for Mortal Kombat X, I didn't really like the story. I wasn't that much of a fan. I'm not going to hold up. The, that story it didn't really seem like it was going anywhere, you know. Like Mortal Kombat 11, though, that story was amazing. I loved the Mortal Kombat 11 story. Mortal Kombat 9 story, I love that story too. I think Mortal Kombat 11 has the best story in my opinion. The the, the absolute best. Mortal Kombat 9 though is probably second. I feel like it's a really good second. You know, close, close, close second because like. It's like everybody was dying and Raiden is getting these predictions wrong. You know, he's he's seeing things in the future and it's like it's not playing out according to to his, you know, to his visions and the amulets breaking. Even when they do the right things, it seems so. And it's like, man, and it all comes down to Shao Kahn and Raiden having to throw down once and for all for all the marbles to save the world or for... Um, uh, uh, Shao Kahn to finally invade and take over just all the realms and and Raiden did his thing and, and beat Shao Kahn once and for all. But yeah, man, that it's just so many great, great storylines. The lures, I mean, you got 
Scorpion, man. He's the cover boy, you know, of Mortal Kombat. You got Liu Kang, who's the my personal all time favorite character is Liu Kang. He's on. He's just. He's amazing, bro. And you know, I, I'm so glad that he's like a fire god now, and and he controls time. That's amazing. I I wonder if that will play a factor in the next one. You know, cause I feel like. I don't think they should just reboot Mortal Kombat again because they already did that with Mortal Kombat 9. So, like, you know what I mean? But, you know, it, it's just amazing, man. I, I, I'm so happy. I'm so hyped, you guys. If you guys are Mortal Kombat fans, you guys let me know what's your favorite Mortal Kombat all time. My favorite Mortal Kombat all time is obviously Mortal Kombat 11 and uh, Mortal Kombat 9 is probably next. Uh, I would say. Shaolin Monks, then Armageddon, and then uh, I would put I put I put Deception there. I put Deception there. I think honestly, I think Deception might be a little better than Reliance. I, I that that's just me. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Been your boys as Prince. I see you on the next one. So happy, man! Mortal Kombat, bro. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I see you on the next one. Peace.